Hey guys, for our 2020 election scenario, we are doing Donald Trump, the Republican, against someone different this time. Um, this is Deval Patrick, the former governor of Massachusetts, who, um, um, who's much moderate. He's very centrist. His Democratic primary campaign, um, well, first of all, he joined the campaign very late. Uh, just before New Hampshire, he poured all of his money into New Hampshire, um, you know, he campaigned in New Hampshire only. He focused his whole campaign in the New Hampshire primary. He wanted a big turnout. Well, Deval Patrick did not get a big turnout. He, I'm going to pull it up. Here's Deval Patrick right here. He's an African-American. Definitely important in elections. 2020 Dem primaries. I'm getting it right here. Um, we can see that overall, in all, um... In all, demo, er, in all primaries, Deval Patrick won 0.08%. All right, this shows you how weak Deval Patrick is. Um, and, yeah, so he had no chance at actually winning the Democratic primary, winning the Democratic nomination. But remember, this is a what-if scenario. Again, Deval Patrick is extremely centrist. I would say that, actually, out of all these candidates... You know, oh, Jetta, Inslee, de Blasio, O'Rourke, Harris, um, Williamson, Delaney, you know, Michael Bennett, Klobuchar, Bloomberg. I would say that Deval Patrick was the most in the middle, was the most moderate, all right? He had some conservative views. Here's his campaign logo right here. Um, I mean, I personally, well, I initially hated it. I watched a uh, Let's Talk Elections video about it. He... He actually said that, um, just as a sort, or just as a quote, that uh, the Let's Talk Elections person, Ethan, said that his campaign logo looked like it came out of a logo generator. And that is definitely correct, but I gotta say I like the colors. I do love the colors. Those are some solid colors. The light blue and light green, I really like it. Um, but overall, it's an awful logo, though. Um, but I do like it. it. Could you know? It could fit on a shirt. It could be a sticker. It'd be a great sticker. It could be a bumper sticker. You know, it could be on a water bottle. Anything. Um, but yeah, I definitely like the design of it. Well, and the color. Um, and yeah, Deval Patrick did want to make it known that he was that he was um that that he was in the middle. He would actually, he, I mean, in my opinion, he wanted to make it m most known out of all the Democratic candidates that he was in the middle. He shared conservative and liberal views. So he is not Bernie Sanders, and he is not Andrew or, uh, Richard Ojeda. This is Deval Patrick right here, this man. Um, I will bring up that in 2018, Deval Patrick announced that he would not run for president in 2020. And what does he do in 2020? He runs. Um, I don't think that will hurt him greatly, though. So Deval Patrick will win his home state of Massachusetts. That's the first state that we'll mention. He will also win Vermont, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and D.C. All safe Democratic states. Uh, he will also win New York, 1st District of Maine. Maine at large, he will win. Uh, Virginia, it's safe to say that he will win Washington, Oregon, California. And also, Deval Patrick is 64 years old. Definitely important to mention. He's not a young man. He's not going to connect with young voters much. But, the, he and um, he is best friends with Obama. They're besties, like, way more than Obama and Biden. You know, they're always seen together. Um, Obama encouraged him to run, I think. Um, safe to say that Trump will win Iowa, by the way. And, um, but anyway, so, yeah, being an African-American will, um, uh, will, will, uh, definitely help him in this election, I think. Because they're, you know, that's going to win states like Georgia, solidly. Um, alright, we have the safe states all done. Deval Patrick will we'll carry Minnesota. Trump will carry Texas. Alright, let's get to the good states here. Um, oh, Trump will also carry 2nd District of Maine. Um, I will start in Ohio, uh, where Trump will win. This is a conservative area, much too, and Patrick is much too moderate for a state like Ohio, right? Um, in the Rust Belt, it's going to be pretty interesting. Um, I do think Trump will carry Arizona. Deval Patrick is, 
He is very moderate, though, so he will connect with these voters. I think Patrick will carry Nevada and, and New Mexico. I do. I, I have a feeling that, you know, these are the two more liberal states than Arizona, and they're going to want to go to Patrick more than Trump. And remember, this is Trump. Many Americans don't approve of Trump, less than 50%. So that really just shows you something. And this is an area that does not approve of Trump. I think Arizona would narrowly go to Trump. I think if Biden could carry the Nevada, Arizona, and New Mexico, Patrick could too. Uh, Arizona is, I think, too conservative for Patrick, even though Patrick is very moderate. Um, I do think Patrick will carry Michigan and Pennsylvania, especially Michigan, though, because they do have a, a high African-American population. And, you know... I think Pennsylvania is very establishment, and I will I will remind you, Deval Patrick is a highly establishment candidate. The establishment didn't back him because he was just such a weak candidate. He joined the race so late, but still, Deval Patrick is completely establishment. However, I think Trump would connect to Wisconsin voters more like rural voters than Patrick. I do think that he would carry the um, Wisconsin. Uh, right off the bat, I will say that Patrick will carry Georgia. If Biden, an old white guy, could carry it, then Patrick can because he's an old black guy. And, you know, these Af this African-American turnout is going to be even higher than when Biden ran. However, I do think North Carolina and Florida would go to Trump, but in the end, it doesn't matter. Deval Patrick narrowly wins the presidency with 285 electoral votes to Donald Trump's 253. I do think that it that any that a couple of states could change one and this will be in trump's favor one i think nevada and new mexico could both flip if not just new mexico which still wins deval patrick the presidency though but i do think nevada would be the closest state of them all so trump could carry nevada but in the end remember deval patrick wins i also think that pennsylvania could go to trump in this case, Donald Trump wins the election. Pennsylvania and Nevada, for me, are both very much toss-ups. However, um, Patrick could carry the state of Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania could go to, to go to, um, could go to Trump. I still think this is unlikely, but it's a it's an electoral tie, two sixty nine to two sixty nine. But in the end, I do predict that uh, that Deval Patrick would win the presidency against Donald Trump, with. 285 electoral votes to Trump's 253. I think the popular vote would be a bit more close. Deval Patrick is just not a really likable guy. You know, he's very establishment. He's not like a radical like Bernie who really gets people rallied. And he's not like Obama either. You know, Deval Patrick is a very, like I said, a very establishment type of guy. And he's not going to be as popular as African Americans like Obama. Um, you know, Stacey Abrams, uh, Eric Adams, people like that. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to subscribe to the left and watch my playlists and videos. Again, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.